Hi, in this tutorial we are going to demonstrate a very nice Python library called Sky AR. This library can replace the sky with uh, another image or another video. You can see uh, uh, several examples here of, uh, of a video that they uh, following with the uh, changing or replacing uh, with another background. Uh, we can add a spaceship, spaceship uh, a very nice uh, uh, Python library. Uh, we are going to install this library step by step and to show how to, to demonstrate this kind of uh, result. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, we are going to, to git clone uh, the Sky AR uh, rep repository. A very simple process of uh, git clone. Next, uh, we are going to create a Conda environment. Uh, please notice that we are using uh, Python 3.6 uh, and uh, of course after we are uh, going to, to activate this uh, environment and then we will start uh, to install several uh, Python uh, libraries. Uh, you will need uh, a CUDA installation uh, in your uh, Windows environment. Uh, I'm using uh, CUDA uh, 11. Uh, we will go to the PyTorch uh, website, uh, choose the relevant uh, uh, CUDA version and copy the, the command for installing uh, PyTorch. Uh, of course, I'm going to leave um, a link for all this uh, step in my uh, GitHub repo. So now there are several uh, Python libraries that are essential or crucial to, to run uh, the Sky AR uh, library. So please follow uh, the instructions uh, file or you can follow this uh, visual tutorial. Um, and install all the required libraries. Okay, next we are going to download the, the pre-trained model. Please uh, download the file and uh, extract the file and uh, then the, it will uh, create a new folder that uh, we will have to copy it to the repo folder. This is the folder, we can look uh, inside and see the, the, the model file, but we are going to copy it as is to the Sky AR uh, repository folder. And the repo folder has uh, two sample video files, but I'm going to copy my own file. It's a uh, a video file from uh, from a lot in Israel so I copy it to the test videos folder this is the the video file and uh, next we are going to replace the the sky with uh, another uh, background please go to the config folder there are uh, several JSON files and uh, we are going to copy paste one of this uh, file and we are going to replace with uh, our own 
a JSON file. We will add this JSON file and we will change the name of the demo video file to our file. Please notice that there is a argument called skybox uh, jupyter.jpg so this would be our uh, background. We are not going to change the other arguments. The command is uh, very simple, uh, running the skymagic.pi and the major argument is the path for, the, for uh, our uh, JSON file. Uh, I'm going to, to do a fast forward and we are not going to, to wait for all the process. It's, it's about an hour, so you can see that um, the, the frames are uh, basically uh, running uh, towards to, to the last frame. Um, I'm jumping from 100 frame to, to the 719 frame and we are going to see the, the results. You can see there are two uh, results, two, two video files. This is the the outcome, this is the, the result of uh, the, the, the video and you can see side by side the original video and the new video. Uh, we are going to change another JSON file with uh, um, another uh, um, background and now we are going to, to play a bit with the parameters. We are going to use the, the Descript uh, ship JPEG as a background. Um, our original video will be the same. So once again we are going to run the, the same Python file but uh, as an argument we are going to, to send the, the new JSON file. And uh, you will see the outcome that the spaceship is uh, a little big for me. So I would like to, to make it a, a, a smaller ship. So I I stop the process and change the, the argument from dot five to dot eight. Run it again, and now the the ship is uh, smaller. So you are most welcome to play with this uh, argument and uh, get your desired uh, results. Once again, I did a fast forward for the last frame. The process is about uh, one hour. We will see the result. This video is uh, running in uh, very high frames per second, but uh, of course you can make it uh, slower and more uh, natural. And uh, that's it. Hope you enjoy uh, this tutorial. Thank you very much.